Hey guys, Mr. Breen here, and in this video I'm going to explain how to tell the difference between reflexive pronouns and personal pronouns in Latin. How does English do reflexive and personal pronouns? Well, take this top sentence, he sees him. A savvy English speaker knows that this person is different from this person. Whoever he is must be seeing someone other than himself. So we could say this is Mr. Courage and this is Mr. Breen. Mr. Courage sees Mr. Breen. He sees him. Two different people. If we want to say that someone sees, well, if we want to say that these are the same people, we actually have to add something in English. He sees himself. Now we know that this person is exactly the same person as that person. Okay. This uh, this pronoun reflects back to the subject. It is the same. It refers to the same person that the subject refers to. Okay. Up here in this top sentence, this refers to a totally different person. This is just a personal pronoun. This is a reflexive pronoun. All right. So in Latin for third person pronouns, here are some examples of personal pronouns. Isaia id, hikai kok, ille illa illum. All right. So personal pronoun might be am widet. He sees him. This is not the same person as the subject. For reflexive pronouns, for third person, we have a special one. Blank, sui, sibi, se, se. It's just like tu, tui, tibi, te, te, except that you have an s instead of a t, and there's no nominative. So if you have the sentence se widet, here this refers to the same person as the subject. He sees himself. Only one person is involved here. Why isn't there a nominative form? Well, it already has to, has to refer back to the subject. So it cannot itself be the subject. There's no need for a nominative reflexive pronoun. So one doesn't exist. Instead, we just have everything else. Genitive, dative, accusative, ablative, no nominative. Okay, we can also have reflexive pronouns in other persons and numbers. So we could do first singular. Debeo, I ought to prepare, may, myself. Normally, this would just be pronounced, uh, sorry, translated, me, but because it refers to exactly the same person that the subject of the sentence is, and we know it's the subject of the sentence because this is first singular, I, I ought to prepare. In English, we add self under the end of the pronoun, I ought to prepare myself. For a second person singular, you are telling the news, we know it's you because of this, the S on the end there, you are telling the news to yourself. Okay, instead of you, to you, we're going to say to yourself. It's reflexive. How do we know it's reflexive? Because this is second singular and this is second singular. Or we could use first plural. Damos, we give. We know it's we because of that most ending. We give dinner to ourselves. We had added selves on the end because it's plural and it's reflexive. How do we know it's reflexive? This is first plural, and this is first plural. And for second plural, it's the same thing. Amatis, you love, y'all love. We know it's y'all because of the tis ending. Yourselves, wos is second plural because it refers to the same person as the subject. Y'all, y'all, it's reflexive. Y'all love yourselves. At this point, I want you to pause the video, get out a piece of paper, and get some practice. I want you to tell me for each of the following sentences, um, is the pronoun in the sentence personal or reflexive? How do you know? Bracket label and translate the sentences. I'm going to wait. I'm going to pause for about five seconds after I stop saying this, and then you can pause the video and, uh, and get this practice. All right, let's bracket label and translate all this. In horto, that's in a prepositional phrase. Weedent is a verb. Say is the D-O, and say is always reflexive, so this is reflexive, reflexive. Okay, nos docetis. Uh, here we have a D-O and a verb, and tis is second plural. Second plural. Nos is first plural. This does not refer to the subject. Nos does not refer to the subject. It's personal. All right, wobis canem magnum do. Canem is a D-O, I'll draw that under there. Magnum, there. Verb, wobis must be, must be dative. Um, but this is first singular, 
and our pronoun here is second plural. So must be personal, can't be reflexive. The wobis does not refer to the same thing as the subject. And cupis, te you are a cupis. Let's see, D O T is a D O. Infinitive, you are a complementary infinitive. And cupis is a verb. And this is second singular. And this is second singular. Second singular. So, hey, that is reflexive. Those are the same person. That's reflexive. Here are the translations for those sentences. Number one, they see themselves reflexive. They see themselves in the garden. Number two, you teach us, personal. Number three, I give a big dog to y'all, personal. And four, you want to help yourself, reflexive.